Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back to this brand new and uh, exciting video in where I'm going to share, oh yes, the best tips and tricks for of course the Oculus Quest 2. That's right, and it's not going to matter if you are let's say new to VR, are being a long time user, or are planning on getting a headset in the near future. No, this video is for everyone, as it includes pretty much everything you need to know and even some stuff you never heard of before. I'm serious, so I hope you are ready. With that being said though, let's jump right into the metaphors and um, have some fun. Let's go. Tip number one, how to increase your Oculus Quest's frame rate. If you want to, you can boost the frame rate of your headset from 90 to 120 Hz. This will give you a much smoother and an even more satisfying experience, especially in fast-paced games. To enable it, strap on the Quest, head over to your settings and in experimental features you have to flip the switch. Just keep in mind that it does drain your battery faster and that not all of the games are supported yet. Tip number two, bring your couch or chair into VR. I know this sounds uh, next level, but yeah, you can turn your real furniture into virtual objects. So you can take a seat inside your actual Oculus home environment. To turn it on, you once again have to go to uh, experimental features and over there you will see it pop up in the list. You then have to draw your virtual couch or chair at where the physical one is located and before you know it, it will show up within your headset. This is one of the most futuristic things you can do on the Quest uh, to date. Tip number three, how to earn $30 store credit. That's right, when you refer a friend to buy an Oculus Quest 2 and he or she ends up uh, purchasing one, you will receive $30 store credit each. You can find this referral system on your Oculus mobile app by tapping the little diamond symbol. And from there, you can start inviting someone. Tip number four, download games from your phone to your Quest. Most people download games from within the headset, but you don't necessarily have to. You can just do this remotely from the comfort of your Oculus app. Simply visit the store on your phone, buy the game you want to play and hit the install to headset button. Easy peasy. Tip number five, check your privacy settings. If you care about who can see your activities or personal details, then you should take a serious look at your privacy settings. You can find this on your profile or on the mobile app. Personally, I prefer to keep most uh, things private, but if you want to, you can also open it up to friends or the general public. It's totally up to you. Tip number six, multitask with more screens. This feature is one of the most useful ones you can find on the Quest right now. With the multitasking feature, you can add up to three apps in your home environment. Like for example, Oculus Move on the left, the main menu in the middle and your high scores on the right. You can completely customize this to your own taste and can be found in experimental features under multitasking. Have fun! Tip number seven, how to make a quick screenshot. Sharing what you got to experience in VR has never been so simple. All you have to do is hold the Oculus button in combination with the trigger and voila, you got yourself a snapshot. Tip number eight, how to change the theme of your menu. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the dark interface of the Quest. Recently, a new update got rolled out that allows you to change it to a lighter one. All you gotta do is uh, visit experimental features and choose the light uh, theme over the dark one. Tip number nine, connect to Wi-Fi in a blink. As you know, you can connect to the internet from within your Quest, but just like downloading games, you can just do this remotely through the Oculus app. Usually this is way easier, as you don't have to take off your headset to look up the Wi-Fi password again. Tip number 10, bring your keyboard and desk into VR. Next to your couch or chair, you can also add a desk or keyboard to your virtual home. Since this feature uh, recently launched, the only keyboard you can use right now is the K830 from Logitech. But either way, this is a fantastic tool that transforms your headset into a virtual workspace. You can enable both uh, the desk and keyboard in experimental uh, features. Tip number 11, comfort ratings. Yes, every game and every experience in the Quest uh, store has a comfort rating. If you are sensitive to, let's say, motion sickness, then make sure to check this first before you dive in. 
As you can see here, there are four ratings in total and depending on which one you can handle, you can make a wise purchase. So use this in your favor. Tip number 12, you can change your menu's environment. If you don't like the default home that Oculus gives you, you can change it to something else, like a hangout in the desert, a cyberpunk apartment, a space station, a Japanese temple and a few others. All you have to do is uh, visit uh, virtual environments in the settings and choose from a selection of destinations. Tip number 13, watch out for spiders. Ooh. Yeah, this might sound ridiculous, but there have been folks out there who found spiders inside their headsets, with the most famous example being YouTuber Markiplier. As long as you don't live in Australia, I don't think you have to worry you're going to find one yourself, but I would still check every nook and cranny before putting it on. Tip number 14, create your own personal avatar. To get access to this uh, creator, you have to open your profile, click on edit avatar and you can start making one. You will be presented to a variety of body types, hairstyles, outfits and everything to give your avatar a personal spin. These can be used in titles such as uh, Pro Pod Golf, Horizon Workrooms and Epic Roller Coaster. Do keep in mind that they are not mainstream across the quest just yet, so you will still see a lot of games and experiences using their own systems. Tip number 15. Stream PC VR games to your quest. When you have a powerful gaming computer or a laptop, you can connect it to your Quest and play PC VR games wirelessly. It is called Oculus Airlink and can be turned on in experimental features. For an extensive tutorial on what you need uh, hardware-wise and how to set it up, I would recommend you checking out my guide in the video's description. Tip number 16. Gift games to friends and family. This is how you do it. First find a game on your phone you want to uh, gift, then in the bottom right corner you can tap on buy it for a friend and last but not least you have to add a message that will be sent to the person's email address. It's good to know that nowadays this can also be done from within the quest, so whatever floats your boat. Tip number 17. Try hand tracking. Instead of using the traditional touch controllers to navigate through the menu or to play games, you can also decide to enable hand tracking. You can turn this magical feature on in settings, device and then hands and controllers. As of right now, there aren't that many apps making use of this, but it's definitely up and uh, coming, so stay tuned. Tip number 18. How to know your headset is up to date. This is a quickie. Go to uh, settings about and check if there are any updates available. Depending on where you are located, you could receive these updates slower or faster. It's just best to keep an eye on the Oculus blog so you know when a new update drops. Tip number 19. How to party up with friends. Under social in the Oculus mobile app you can create an invitation link so that your friends can join you in VR. Simply choose the game you want to play, the exact location where and when you want to meet and generate the link. Everyone you share the link with will then be able to instantly team up through their own app. Tip number 20. Create a safe play space. Avoiding a broken TV or any furniture is easier said than done. There are these moments you are so extremely immersed that you totally forget where you are in the physical world. And that's usually where things escalate. So to keep you and your surroundings safe, I would recommend looking into a carpet or a so-called proxy mat that you see me use throughout this video. It gives you an indication on where you are in the room and most importantly keeps you centered. Tip number 21. Adjusting the lenses. As you know, you can adjust the lenses by switching between three settings. Setting 1 is 58mm, setting 2 is 63mm and setting 3 is 68mm. Not a lot of people know this, but you can also sit between those numbers by carefully sliding it in between two settings. This will give your eyes a bit more breathing space. Oh, and before I forget, if you want to learn what your exact IPD is, you can use the app iMeasure to find out what the distance between your eyes is, so you never have to look for the perfect setting ever again. Tip number 22. How to quickly reset your view. 
To choose what direction you're facing in VR, you can do a fast reset by holding the Oculus button on your controller. This will point you towards the menu or the game's main objective. Tip number 23. Use voice control. If you want to, you can control your quest by using voice commands. You can for example ask it to launch a game, go to the store or let it tell you what time it is. Simply uh, turn it on under settings, device and look for voice commands. Uh, do keep in mind that this is only available in the US right now. Tip number 24. Pass through shortcut. To get a quick peek into the real world, you don't have to take off the headset. No, instead you just double tap the side of the quest and uh, here you go, you can see what's going on around you. You can turn it on in the Guardian section. Tip number 25. Change your boundary system's color and sensitivity. Also under the Guardian's tab, you can customize your virtual walls. By default, your boundaries will be blue, but if you feel like it, you can change it to yellow or purple. Oh, and next to that, you can also mess around with uh, its sensitivity. If you want the boundary system to react slower or faster, you can tweak it in advanced settings. This will introduce you to plenty of ways to modify your own boundaries. Tip number 26. How to make working out in VR more fun. When you use the Quest a lot for fitness, you might want to consider using Oculus Move. This is a system that monitors your workout sessions and gives you info on how many calories you burned. You can even set daily or weekly challenges to keep the motivation going. To enable it, go to your settings and in experimental features you should see Oculus Move overlay. Tip number 27. Managing your storage. Let's say your quest is over full and you want to free up some space, then you can delete multiple games and other media at once by going to storage. Just select whatever you want to delete and done. This saves you so much time. Tip number 28. Discover Web VR. In the internet browser of your Oculus Quest, you can play and explore so-called web VR experiences. And these are applications that have been made and also run in the browser itself. All you have to do to dive in is open their web page and click on the VR logo in the upper left corner. This is such a great feature that in my opinion deserves way more attention. So yeah, go give it a try and let me know what you think. Tip number 29. Use the original charger. It is recommended that you use the charger that comes uh, with your quest. Because there have been a handful of reports in the past of folks overcharging their headsets. With third party stuff that in the end melted their ports or even worse set them on fire. So you have been warned. If you do want a fancier but most importantly safer method to charge your headset I can recommend the official dock from Anchor. I made a review on this a couple of months ago so I will make sure I added to the description. Tip number 30. Download and play early access games. Not so long ago, Facebook introduced AppLab, a program that allows developers to sell games that are work in progress or that are not approved by Oculus just yet. These apps are kinda hidden away and can only be found by using the search bar in the store. So the main struggle is how do you know what to look for? Well, luckily there's a list of all available games on a website named oculusapplab.com. You can open it up on your phone or from within the Quest's uh, browser and start downloading from there. Enjoy! Tip number 31. How to stream your Quest gameplay. You can stream what you see in VR to a tablet, phone, television with a Chromecast and the computer's browser by using the casting feature. To activate this you have to click on the sharing icon, then casting and from there select the device you want to stream to. The coolest part about casting is that the person from the outside can launch apps, record or even reset the view directly. A super useful tool for when you introduce VR to newcomers or want to capture your own adventures in mixed reality. Tip number 32. Syncing your media files to your phone. To share the screenshots or gameplay you captured, you can send them to your phone by using the sync feature. All you gotta do is go to sharing again, click on view all and hit the cloud symbol. 
After you did, open the Oculus Mobile app and your files should appear under devices slash synced media. You can then start sharing them to other platforms and um, well, show to your friends what you have been up to. Tip number 33, how to refund games. Let's say you bought a game or an experience that you don't really like, then you have the option to request a refund. That is if you haven't played the game for more than two hours and you make this request within 14 days after purchase. You can do this in the Oculus app by going to uh, your profile, purchase history and click on the game you bought to start the process. Tip number 34, use the night display. Just like on a Samsung or Apple phone, you have the option to turn on a night display. This will make your screen's colors warmer. A nice option for those late night VR sessions. Tip number 35, using headphones. Wearing a pair of headphones in combination with the Quest is definitely extra immersive. The only problem is, is that the audio cables are not designed for VR. That's why it's smart to invest into a short audio cable with a right angle jack. You can find the one that I recommend in the video description. Tip number 36, how to factory reset your Quest. When you experience problems with your headset, then a factory reset is never a bad idea. The quickest way to do this is by opening up your Oculus app and in advanced settings you have the option to completely reset your headset. Beware of the fact that everything from your save games to video files will be wiped, unless the cloud feature is enabled, so make sure to double check that. Tip number 37, how to properly clean your lenses. The lenses of the Quest are very delicate and that's why you want to be careful when cleaning them. So don't try to use your shirt or even worse, paper towels. Instead, make use out of microfiber wipes, like the ones that come with uh, sunglasses. Tip number 38, you can move the menu around. This might be super dumb, but it's one of the things that I didn't even knew was possible months after I got my quest. So what you can do is grab the menu and move it to wherever you want. Tip number 39, a rookie mistake, leave your headset out of the sun. Obvious, but not so obvious. When you are not using your Quest, make sure to store it away from any direct sunlight, as this can badly burn and damage your screen in an instant. So please, please be careful. Moving on to tip number 40, prescription lenses. When you wear glasses, you can get yourself a pair of lens inserts. These are lightweight adapters that come with high quality anti-glare coating. All you have to do is place them over the original ones and you're ready to go. They are for sale on the Oculus website, so again, link is in the description. Tip number 41, family sharing. Let's say you share an Oculus Quest with friends or family, then it's smart to enable multiple accounts. This allows you to add up to three other profiles and even share your games. You can flip the switch in experimental features and it's handy to know that the moment you do, a new tab in the settings will show up called Accounts, where you can make even more modifications. Tip number 42, how to access your Quest files. To be able to extract anything from save games, screenshots, video files and other things, you can connect your headset to your PC slash your laptop via a USB-C or USB-A cable. Just make sure that inside the Quest, you give it permission to share its media. Tip number 43, put a password on your Quest. If you don't want others to randomly access your headset, you can make use out of a so-called unlock pattern. This is like a secret code that makes sure that no one else can enter your quest. You can turn this on in the security settings of the headset or on the phone app under devices. Tip number 44, how to expand your internet browser. When being inside the Oculus browser, you face a rather small window, but luckily you can make it a lot bigger by grabbing its sides and stretching it out. And last but not least, here's tip number 45. Do not play outside. With the Quest being completely wireless, it is tempting to take it outdoors and play games. I, I get it, but as I said before, sunlight is the headset's worst enemy and that's why it's better to not go outside. I'm serious, even on a cloudy day, it can burn your screen. So if you really want to free roam, try to clean up the garage or rent your local indoor tennis slash basketball court. Anything with a roof should do the trick. 
And there you go, those are the best uh, tips and tricks for the Oculus Quest 2. I hope you enjoyed them, I hope they were useful. If they were, then make sure to slam that like button, let me know you care. And if you have any other tips or tricks laying around, then make sure to uh, drop them in the comments below. Uh, also, make sure to join our Discord over there. We always talk about the latest and greatest VR news, memes, and so much more. Links are in the description uh, below. See you there. And uh, with that being said, until next time. So um, I'm now going to jack into the metaphors and... Um, enjoy myself some more. So see you later. See you in the metaverse.